bloody wake up call. So I thought to myself, why put up with that piece of crap I'm driving? Your car's not that bad. Give me a break. It's time I enjoyed my drive to work. So what are you planning on getting? Hey. <laughs> oh, she's pretty expensive. Big decision. He's been in denial since the prostate biopsy came back positive for cancer. He just wants to accept the first advice he gets. The surgeon, he suggests just taking it out. But our GP says there are other alternatives. It's really important to understand that prostate cancer is usually a cancer that does not grow fast. And that means that almost always there's plenty of time to make the treatment decision that's right for you. So it's important you use that time to weigh up all the options because it's a big decision. Mate, I had no idea. When's the surgery? I'm not sure about that. We're slowing things down. We just needed some time to think and consider all the issues, including the cost. We went back to our GP, who was really helpful. I must admit, I was a bit scared. You know, you hear about therapy causing, you know, sex problems and incontinence, and I'm not ready for that. Yeah, sure. I mean, what are the alternatives? Well, the GP wants us to explore the options and referred me to a radiation specialist. They call them radiation oncologists. The GP reckons that radiation therapy can have the same end results and sometimes with less complications. There are choices when it comes to treating prostate cancer. Surgery and radiation therapy can both cure prostate cancer and the issue of advantages and disadvantages which men have a right to know about when they're choosing the treatment that suits them best. For example, surgery has higher rates of permanent urinary incontinence and needing to wear pads. Radiation has a small chance of bowel issues which can come and go. Both may affect sexual function, but research has shown that surgery may have the worst effect on sexual function. Incontinence and sexual problems can improve over time, but overall studies have shown they remain worse in the men who have had their prostate removed by surgery. Often radiation therapy has no out-of-pocket costs to the patient, but you should discuss the cost with your doctor. Radiation's not nearly as scary as I thought. In fact, it's very targeted and high-tech these days. You don't turn radioactive, you don't lose time off work, and there's a very good chance that there'll be no long-lasting sexual side effects either. And you won't need urine pads afterwards, that's for sure. So that's why I'm thinking of spoiling myself. Men with prostate cancer almost always have time to think about the treatment that's best for them. But to make the choice that's right for you, you have to insist on being referred to a radiation oncologist for his or her opinion about the risks and benefits and to understand the details of having radiation and how it all works. You've got to ask the tough questions of every doctor you see and make sure you see all the experts. It's a big decision.